Arab Top covering. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. We have some very serious news coming out of North Korea. Of course, we already know the devastating news. Uh, as you can see here on your screen and behind me from the Washington Post, many others, uh, Fox News, every news agency you can imagine covering what's happening over in Texas right now as Hurricane Harvey uh, is heading back into the Gulf of Mexico. Now, of course, it has been downgraded. Nine people have died already as a result of this hurricane, uh, and it, it, the floodwaters are devastating. We've had friends that have been writing in, commenting also in the comments below about this dreadful uh, hurricane and what it has done in the state of Texas. And you can email us if you're there, if you have experienced this, you have photos you want to share, email us at stephenbennoon at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you and share some of the experiences that you've had in this uh, horrible storm now headed towards Louisiana. Uh, kind of interesting because we'll be headed down to the Gulf Coast ourselves in the next couple of days. Right now we are in Huntsville, Alabama tonight. Just got in. We'll be holding a just a little private meeting tomorrow night with some of you that want to come out here uh, at, a, at the hotel that we're staying at here. Um, I'll put the information below, uh, the, the actual name of the hotel there. I actually thought I had the name in front. Yeah, Town Place Suites is the hotel. We'll be holding a conference tomorrow evening at 7 p.m., 7, 7.30, right in that time frame there at 6500 Redstone Gateway, Southwest Huntsville, Alabama. If you'd like to come out, very little bit of seating there. Five people will be able to seat. Uh, we're not charging. We, we do have to pay for the room, but we're not charging for people that want to just come out, meet, and talk a little bit. We're going to share some interesting insights from some biblical passages that I want to share with you. But let's get right into the news, though. Very serious situation. As I said, the storm already crippling in Texas there and now headed to, the, to Louisiana, and the rains continue to fall and devastate the region there. But what's going on? What is really going on this just Disturbing. Remember, I said to you guys on Yan Hop News and also Dung A uh, as well, they were speaking about earlier this week uh, how that North Korea had been firing missiles towards Japan. Well, finally, they're coming out. RT, this has just broke out. Overwhelming force South Korea conducts bombing drill in response to Pyongyang's missile test. Okay, so Pyongyang uh, has actually conducted that missile test. And the uh, U.S. along with South Korea are responding on that. Demonstrations, it's overwhelming military force to North Korea. South Korea conducted bombing drills just hours after Pyongyang launched what appeared to be an intermediate range ballistic missile that fell in Japanese waters. Okay, the show of force ordered by South Korean President Moon uh, Jae-in involved for uh, F-15K fighter jets dropping MK-84 multi-purpose bombs on shooting range near the uh, inter-Korean border uh, in Tabek. The presidential press secretary told reporters, according to uh, the Yonhap news agency there. Now, uh, a couple of other articles that came out here already on RT, 100% with Japan, this is President Trump speaking uh, about uh, Japan's President uh, President Abe there, agreed to increase pressure on Pyongyang after the missile test. Now, it says here in this article right here, this is what's really concerning right here, is that uh, the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has held a phone conversation with U.S. President Donald Trump in which the two leaders agreed to ramp up pressure on North Korea after its latest test of a suspected intermediate ballistic uh, range ballistic missile which flew over Japan, according to this report here. Japan's chief cabinet secretary earlier described Pyongyang's latest action as a grave threat. Uh, the ballistic missile launch appeared to fly over our territory. It is unprecedented, serious, and gave threat to our nation, uh, Yo uh, Yoshide Suga told reporters, according to Reuters uh, news agency there. So tensions definitely on a very serious high level. As you can see here, the uh, I believe that's the Patriot battles here. Uh, batteries here in the background here according to the, the picture that we're looking at right now. Yes, it is a Patriot advanced capability. The uh, three pack three missile unit in response to the recent missile launch by North Korea. They have set up. They, they're ready to go. Uh, they're in Japan. 
And of course, for the Japanese, it is definitely a very serious threat. We're talking about nuclear weapons, and Japan is uh, definitely seeing the horrors of what an atom bomb can do. Not just one, but two of them. Uh, what happened after during World War II when the United States retaliated after Pearl Harbor. Uh, now, we're also seeing the situation now again with North Korea with their threat of using nuclear weapons. Even if North Korea were just to target the U.S. military bases there in Japan, it would still affect not only the U.S. military as well and, and, and uh, our soldiers that are there in the region, but it would also affect the Japanese people once again. So both countries willing to work to try to prevent uh, this catastrophe catastrophe from unfolding and I'm very concerned that we are about to see the U.S. go to war and it could easily happen especially in light of the fact uh, that we're more concerned right now and of course mainstream media naturally and of course for with all regards and understanding so the uh, the storm that hit uh, the Harvey that hit uh, Texas and and let me just say too I'm very concerned about this storm that could it have been seeded? Could this have actually been something that was done intentionally, even or, or unintentionally, and it kind of got out of hand? You know, we have all the chemtrails that are that are uh, sprayed continuously to begin with, and of course, chemtrails began many years ago as cloud seeding, uh, and that's what causes more rainfall, more uh, precipitation. It's just very unusual that we've had this much rainfall. I cannot help but wonder, only a conjecture, I'm not saying that it was actually done, but a conjecture that that could have happened. And isn't it odd that it hit Texas, the very state that is talked about uh, seceding from the Union, uh, and as well the oil refineries, everything else, the, 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 the economic impact that this storm that is going to happen on the United States is absolutely devastating, not to mention Texas itself. Uh, so I'm very concerned about that. Uh, maybe it is natural, and I'm not here to point fingers, friends. I'm really not. It could be a, a, a complete natural disaster if that's the case. You know, like I said, I'm not here to point fingers there, but it is just a little bit on the odd side. Also, Yan Hop News, again, urgent. Uh, Cheong Wade says, U.S. considering deploying strategic defense capabilities to South Korea. That will up the, uh, the, the pressure on North Korea, but at the same time, it will up the tensions as well. And this is something that could destabilize the entire region. Again, Daniel's prophecy, chapter 11, verse 44, tidings out of the, out of the east and out of the north trouble him. Trouble who, king of the north, none other than the king of the north, and he will go, the king of the north, that is, the, the hidden king, the, is the in behind the scenes, that no one really seems to know who he is that directs the NATO forces on what to do. Uh, and no doubt they will take away many. They will go forth and destroy many. And that's exactly the way General Dunford described any type of war with North Korea. It would be catastrophic in a loss of life. Uh, also, one, a couple other things real quick before we close here, friends. Um, India withdraws troops from the disputed uh, Himalayan region, diffusing tensions with, with China. That's a good thing. I'm glad to see there's some good news in this world. Uh, but of course, as we said as well, it continues to be a devastating situation there in Texas with uh, Hurricane Harvey or the, the, the results of Hurricane Harvey now downgraded uh, as far as the type of storm it is, but could easily regain some of its strength as it's moving back over uh, open waters there in the Gulf of Mexico, kind of creeping back towards Louisiana. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Don't forget, if you'd like to come out tomorrow, let us know. Send us an email at stephenbenoon at gmail.com. Again, I'm limited to about 20 people or so, maybe 25, we might be able to squeeze into this little small conference room here at the uh, hotel here called Town Place Suites uh, by Marriott 6500 Redstone Gateway Southwest Huntsville, Alabama. Love to be able to meet some of you. It'll be 7 p.m. tomorrow night uh, and uh, we'll be there for just a couple of hours there. Uh, be sharing some insights with you and we will definitely try to, to film that as well. I'm intending on going into the DNA issue, so uh, maybe I can get, if we do that, I can load that here for you guys as well to share some insights with you on that. I'm Stephen Benoon, you're watching Israeli News Live. Don't forget, drop by our website, israelinewslive.org, or right above the subscribe button, help keep us on the air, keep this moving along. And, and two, one other quick note as well. So many of you continue to make comments in the comment section saying that you're not getting, uh, you're not getting 
notification from YouTube that our videos are being posted. We do know that YouTube has blocked that in our, uh, in our system there. We cannot fix it. We cannot change it. Maybe some of you do get uh, the warnings. We're going to try to see if we can't go, uh, maybe try to set a time in the near future, a set time to where you know for sure what time our news should air here uh, on Israeli News Live. So we'll try to do that, say for sure that'll happen. Again, IsraeliNewsLive.org. Shalom.